finished filling out that application. So the assistant, I just met the assistant manager. But, oh, excuse me. But uh, I think I should have, I don't know. It just looked like he judged me because I was wearing this vest and there's dirt on it because I was working outside. But uh, I'll, but obviously I know to dress up when I get the, you know get an interview. I'm totally incompetent. I never interviewed very well though. I couldn't ever speak in front of people neither. Ghetto, I was listening to an interview of him the other day. He wrote other Elvis songs and whatnots. Uh, he's a famous guy. I don't know. I'm going to throw out the name Mac Davis. But I have no idea if that's his name. Um, but uh, he grew up. And uh, his, I think his dad was... His dad's co-worker was black and then they were white and uh so he got to he grew up one of his best friends was a, was a black kid and he used to he and the and the black kid had to live on one side of the part of the city you know historically like kansas city for instance it used to be a law you couldn't live on a certain over a certain line and i'm sure other cities were the same way well he couldn't understand why his best friend had to go live in the ghetto and the and he said the ghetto was just being coined a term uh, around the time that he wanted to write this song so when he's a kid he just thought it was the poor side of town but uh but i thought that was kind of neat i gotta drop off my uh recyclables I'll put a song on for you there's a fire, broilers, a Detroit with a barbecue grip, but the treat of the trade is going to serve you all those fine eggs beef. You want to spend the rest of your price, then at the hump, the hump, the blue line. It's a good song. Chuck Miller. I like this part. Have we had a real, real big, big singer songwriter that plays piano come out in a while you know like someone really like billy joel caliber elton john caliber type people i don't know you know that's a shit Foundation. Let you go. Around you. I need you so, baby. Even though you don't need me, you don't need me. Baby, yeah. baby, baby,
let you go Whirling around you Need you so Baby, even though You don't Exciting is I got two subscribers still and I don't know who they are I don't even know how to check that I don't even really want to know who they are but uh, you know two's better than one because that third one it says three but that that first one was me I like to pad the numbers a little bit. That'd be my catchphrase. Will make you comfortably numb, and like in the commercial, I would sing that last part. You know, like be real professional, tip top at the end. Just you know, and over time, that becomes a thing where everyone they'll walk in, and and then I'll have a commercial where different clients sing that part. You know, I've become comfortably numb with Doctor Solomon Pankratz. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are afraid of the dentist because of pain. You just want to be comfortable, you know? And how do you do that? You have to numb the, the it just it makes sense. I'm surprised it hasn't already been used. Like at the time I was unhappy in my life I think I was in my early to mid 20s early 20s and uh, I don't know if I enjoyed a lot of fun comedy action movies with a little bit of science fiction or whatever they call that steampunk steampunk science fiction so to speak I need to watch it again I liked Men in Black, so maybe it was 
Will Smith's partner. I always wonder, like, how many times some of the riders and DJ Jazzy Jeff were like, look, we're under contract. We got to put you in some episodes. I don't really want to do it. I don't know. I mean, unfortunately, he got the character that often sitcoms have of the, you know, the goofball, the male goofball. And so, even though Carlton was the nerd, I mean, he had more depth to his character, but like, I mean, there's episodes where he cries, you know? But DJ, he was just such a carefree character, and he represented, you know, Will's past, all that stuff. I just wish they had created his character a little bit better. Because he's a hell of a DJ. Gimme, gimme, Choco Pops. Save sex. Gimme love. song to play to loudspeakers outside of a feminism feminist convention just have big signs that say your daddy is home girl trials of masturbation for a boy I mean it's a gross thought but the music itself is so beautiful and that's why the Beach Boys are one of my favorite groups it doesn't matter you know Sloop John B that's a sad story I love the song